them hugs. Hugs, 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 hugs. Oh, look. You must have been a great girl for Santa Claus. Look at all those presents. Can you stay while I open them? Of course I can. I can stay today and tomorrow. All the bad stuff is over, so I can be with you whenever I want. I have a present for you, Mommy. Oh, you do? Go get it for Mommy. Thank you, my love. So, uh, when were you planning on telling her the truth? That Mommy's a free woman now. Um, never. Hey, what's in the bag, Annie? Tire iron? Hunting knife? Something to take me out so you can run off with Emma again? Those days are over, Ryan. I no longer have to go to extremes to get what I want. I'm a Chandler now. Oh, hi! Merry Christmas! Look at this Good to see you, my friend. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Ruth, this is my wife, Marissa. Hi, oh. nice to meet you. Yes. Oh, wow. This deserves a hug, not a handshake. Oh. Well, it's, it's so good to see you looking happy. Really. Oh, well, same here. I yeah. hear that you guys are moving to Florida. Yep. Congratulations. That's amazing. Uh, actually, it's a total bummer. Well, you're both welcome for a visit any time oh, you like. Oh, well, uh, bring extra sunblock for your head. Yeah. <laughs> Point me towards the ginger bed. Yeah. I can smell oh, it from there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, bless you. Why don't you yes. stand over here with me? Walk this way? Yeah, walk this way. If I could, I never. <laughs> uh, I got you a little something. Oh. Yeah, no, I thought you'd oh, be able to really? use it in the tropics. Yeah, yeah. Right, open it. It comes right open. Let's okay. see. Ah. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's it's uh, a joke. It, it's a joke. Yeah. yeah. Listen, <laughs> your real present is want to fly you and mom up here this summer to stay with us yeah. for a week, for a month, however long you want. I just want to make sure that as the little girls grow up, you know, that you're a part of their lives. Well, let's hope your brother will still be here too. Why? Hmm. Is Jake retiring too? Well, I had a talk with him some time ago, and he said he quit his job and was leaving Pine Valley. Well, but you know he changed his mind, right? Yes, I do know that. And let's hope he uh, keeps his mind changed that way. But, you know, somehow I was hoping that once uh, your brother and I were gone, that he would pick up the family reins, you know? That he would uh, pick up where I left off. Yeah. And keep an eye on everybody, but... It seems he's not interested. Oh, come on, Dad. That's not the case. Oh, he's just been so miserable these last few months with this whole Hayward mess. Holding on to Amanda and Trevor is all he can handle right now. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, you're the man. And what? You're a, you're a very wonderful father. You've got a beautiful home. And I think you do a fine job keeping an eye on the Martin clan. You know, it's funny you should say that. You mind if I ask your advice one last time? We got a tip about David Hayward. It was everything I could do not to hogtie Jake because he wanted to run out of here. But every instinct I have tells me to check it out. But I, I can't run out on the girl. Sounds to me like you'd be doing it for the girls. Why don't you just make your apologies on me, huh? Yeah. The most important thing in the world is to protect those you love. Where are you going? Oh, honey, this has been lovely, but I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of your Christmas alone. Mom, are you sure? Of course I'm sure, honey. Enjoy this time with your family. You're welcome home. Thank you. Can I walk you out? Sure. Zach, you saved my daughter. How can I ever repay you for that? She's my wife. I love her. I'm always going to keep her safe. 
Christian, um, you and Kendall, you you started to talk about something that happened last night, uh, um, a miracle, a strange dream. What yeah, it's a long it? story. Well, tell me the short version. Now you're not going to stop until I tell you, right? No, you know me very well. In this dream, I made a wish for Kendall that all her pain would go away, that you could have a new start. And it turns out she had the same wish for me. It's kind of silly, isn't it? Not at all. Look. Your miracle has already come true. Love Greenlee? Yes, I do. But not like you're thinking. Greenlee was married to my brother Leo. I owe it to my brother to protect the woman he loved. He's. He's gone. Yeah, it's been a few years now. Leo fell off a cliff and into a river, but they never found the body. I'm sorry. I couldn't save Leo, or Babe, or Leora. So when I found Greenlee, I knew what had to happen. I had to do for her what I failed to do for my brother and my daughters. And now I have. <laughs> 